Hi, I'm Ian Charnas, and today I'm gonna to put myself inside a video game. Dodge, hook, hook. Dodge, hook, hook. Did I mention the electric shacks? <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> Our story begins with Pistachio. I found her on the street when she was about five weeks old and she was too cute to pass up. At first she ate a lot because apparently she was eating for 500 worms. So the vet had me squirt this medicine into her mouth and you'll never guess where this other medicine went. Her ear silly, she had an ear infection. So now she's all fixed up and every morning we play this one pixel video game. She loves this little pixel, and I love that she's getting exercise. It made me think I should make a video game where I get exercise. That's when I found this thing, which lets you use your whole body as a game controller. This looks awesome, and I can totally do martial arts. You know what? No one likes to show off. Well, I'll just buy one of $678. Let me just check my YouTube ad revenue. Change of plans, what can I make for no money? After a couple searches, I found this. It's an AI model that Google made called MoveNet. So MoveNet looks at each frame in a video and tracks your skeleton, basically. Programmers have been trying to make this kind of thing work for the past decade, but this is the first one I think really nails it. It's super accurate compared to the other attempts and it's way faster. I mean, it can run at 60 frames a second on just a regular home computer. <laughs> you know, they used to do motion capture with ping pong balls, but the film and game industries are starting to use AI and special sensors that can do it without the ping pong balls, which is great because now the world's ping pong ball supply can go to its highest purpose. No. No. Yeah. I could watch this all day. I think this kind of motion tracking would be fun for a boxing game like Punch-Out, which you can play on the Nintendo Switch or Wii, but I first played on the original Nintendo. So controlling it with your body makes it kind of like a Wii game, but this one will be free. You won't have to buy a Nintendo Wii. And we're gonna add a secret feature I'll tell you about in just a minute. So first I wrote some code that uses MoveNet to recognize gestures. You can do a hook, hook, forward punch, 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 block and dodge, block, dodge, and of course the super punch, star punch. Next we have to get punch out into a web browser somehow. And the first step is to get the game off this cartridge. All you have to do is connect a USB cable to your Nintendo and- What? Nintendos don't have USB ports. Nintendo came out in 1985 and USB didn't come out for another 10 years. How did you- It's easy. You just open up your Nintendo, take out the CPU, disconnect the lockout chip, and you put a new circuit in between the CPU and the motherboard so you can intercept all the data. Then pop in the cartridge and you know, download the game's binary code. So now the game is in the computer, but we also need some software to act like the Nintendo console itself so that we have something to play the game. Luckily, it's 2021 and it's never been easier to hack stuff. I found a Nintendo emulator and used uh, this thing to compile it into JavaScript so it'll run inside a web browser. And there you go, a real life version of Punch-Out. Hook, 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 hook. There's only one little problem. The game is unplayable. It takes a lot longer to do this than it does to do this. So the opponents are way too fast and you just can't win. Punch, 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 punch. I suppose I could spend months training to be a better athlete, but here's the thing. Nerds don't win by making themselves better at sports. We win by making sports about math. So really, there's only one solution here. We've gotta hack the game. By the way, this is the game. This is what the data on a Nintendo cartridge looks like. Do you see the part where you can change the timing of the opponents? Yeah, me neither. This is a compiled program, and the data here only makes sense to the microchip. It's not meant to be read by humans. But that's exactly what we're gonna do. My job is to go through this and reverse engineer the original source code. This process is called disassembly and it's the kind of thing you see people doing in hacker movies. It's crazy hard. If you get even one bite wrong, the game goes haywire. I didn't know if I was smart enough to do this, but you have to start somewhere. I started on Glass Joe. It took me a long time, but eventually I figured out enough of the game's code so I could slow him down. Then I went through the other characters one by one. Von Kaiser, King Hippo, Great Tiger. You know, some of these characters uh, have not aged well, like 
Here's what Piston Honda says between scenes. I'm pretty sure that's not how people talk in Japan. But what are you gonna do? It's not like you can time travel back to 1987 and change what the game says. Or can you? Maybe I will, Piston Honda. After two months, I was down to the final character, Mike Tyson. This guy was always super hard. I don't know anyone who's beaten him. Even Mike Tyson can't beat Mike Tyson. But I'm gonna finish hacking this game and I'm gonna make it a fair fight. That's right, Mike Tyson. I'm coming for you. Metaphorically speaking, real Mike Tyson, no need to worry or look up where I live or... Okay, the game's ready and I invited some friends over to try it out. I also prepared a surprise. I built an internet controlled electric shocking armband using an Arduino with a relay that can turn on this high voltage generator anytime the internet tells it to. You'll find out why in just a little bit. By the way, you can visit reallifepunchout.com and play this game for free. Make sure to watch the tutorial to learn how to play. I bought a bunch of punch-out cartridges so this many people can play at once. Beyond that, and it'll put you in line for a license. There is a way to skip the line, though. I've made a special pool of licenses available to all my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is a way that you can get involved in helping me make bigger and better projects. The main thing holding me back right now from making videos more often is just the cost of the materials. Like, for this project, which is a low-budget project, I still had to buy all the copies of the game, the electronics to hack the Nintendo, and the stuff for the electric shocking armband you're about to see. So if you want to help me make more videos, you now have the option to support them directly on Patreon. Just click the link below. And that's it. Let's see how my friends do at Real Life Punch Out. I'm nervous. Punch, punch. Poker next. Defeated by Glass Joe. Let me show you what I was seeing, which was punching with wild abandon. <laughs> but mainly, it's dodge, and then I can do this combo here. So it's all about waiting, dodging, and then the hook. That strategy will be every opponent in the game. That's the idea. You'll get the timing. Dodge, dodge. Try again. Dodge. Yes! You got him in a combo. You got him in a combo. Just keep hooking him. Yeah! Yes! I got a third ball! Yes! Yes! Beaten first opponent, Max. <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> There's one more part to this. I think that I would become a better player if I empathize with the player. Because like when he gets hit, nothing happens to me, mm -hmm. right? It's like, who cares? If he gets hit, what should happen to me? A taser. A taser. You're talking electric shocks? Yeah. Just, yeah, just like a little, Why not? Just a little buzz. <laughs> so it's really funny that you mentioned that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm connecting the internet to this transmitter <laughs> and I put this on. So you see these little two cover pads here? So these two pads deliver an electric shock. <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> oh my <thank> God. <laughs> this thing does, it hurts a little bit. This is making you a better player. Yeah, yeah, I really am making sure I don't get hit. <laughs> Did I mention the electric shocks? Oh, this is it. This is it. No, it's gonna hurt every time. No! 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 Sugar cubes! Rice and beans! Wait for it. Oh! Mother! Oh my god! It's so much more painful than you let on! Oh, the pain is exhilarating. <laughs> this feels so Roman. I'm eating grapes while my friend's getting electric shocks. <laughs> oh, oh God. They got me. Once I was done electrocuting my friends, there was really only one thing left to do. Win the whole dang thing. I played the game from Glass Joe all the way to the end to make sure that all the characters are beatable. And finally, for the first time, I got to experience that feeling of beating Mike Tyson. Block. Dodge, punch, dodge, hook. Dodge, punch, dodge, dodge, punch, dodge, punch, Yes! <laughs> Enter full screen mode. Hook, block, exit full screen mode. TKO! TKO! Winner! <laughs> As of right now, I'm the only person in the world who's beaten real life punch out, and my friend Jess helped me make this awesome title belt. Right now, this is mine. 
I'm the world champion. But I am hereby and henceforth issuing a challenge to all the gaming channels out there. If you can beat me, the creator of Real Life Punch-Out on your channel, you will become the undisputed world champion and you'll win my title belt. So if you think you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. This should be fun. <laughs> If you like that, why not subscribe and check out one of my other videos. Hey Pistachio, does my hand taste funny to you? What do you think? Have you, is that enough of a, did you? Well, I was just asking if you could 